A country's safety comes under the Defense Department. The Army, Navy, and Air Force are the core of the defense system. Today we will discuss the massive vessels of the Navy. Do any of you know what an aircraft carrier is? They are huge ships with flak decks. They provide enough arena for taking off and landing of aircrafts. Are they safe enough for these many aircrafts to board? Here are the methods and strategies of aircraft carriers to defend themselves from incoming missiles and other potential attacks. The US Navy is focusing on three primary methods to increase the missile defending power of their carriers. First is by raising their offensive striking power. Simply saying, attacking could be the best reply for an attack. These carriers will be equipped with heavy missiles and other weaponry during the call of action. Then the second method is to heighten their defense. That means improving their previous status of security. The third method and the last one is procuring costs in line. Each of these methods give rise to other sub-methods. Let's have a look at each of them in detail. Missiles usually come from nowhere. Like jets, they propel themselves in the air to reach their destination. There are super potential missiles that can perish a whole vessel itself. We heard news about how North Korea is dominating the sea boundaries by attacking other ships using their enormous missiles. North Korea continues to provoke its neighbours and Western allies. Its latest weapons test sending a missile almost 5,000 kilometres into the Pacific. The air wing stealth, sensor capacity and communication capabilities must be improved proficiently. Let the enemy be strong, but make sure you are the strongest. Likewise, aircraft carriers must change to the 6th generation fighter to make it more vital and effective. For the national government, there is an enormous financial strain. The government cannot compromise on quality since defense is critical for the country's safety. There is a considerable cost for the carriers, the base, air wings, etc. In the future, the Navy hopes to reduce costs by building efficiency and being concurrent to accelerate the development and adaptation of new technologies. Ultimately, the high price of the ships and the aircraft may force the Navy to choose between smaller or fewer carriers. Both of these options are tough to choose from. Aircraft carriers are big ships with vast decks. Their actual duty comes from their ability to provide a secure, mobile airbase for a powerful air wing. We cannot doubt that the ships will radically increase in lethality over the following decades. The US Navy has recently bought its costliest air carrier and named it Gerald R. Ford. Do you want to know its price? $13 billion is what Gerald R. Ford's monetary value is. So naturally, one thing will pop up in our minds. Is this aircraft carrier worth it? Let's look into it. Radar systems, interceptors, and data dissemination strategies of a vessel can stop them from detecting and destroying replicas of attacking missiles. But the sensory systems have done a great job in that area. Still, the testing agency is questioning the reliability issues. Soon, the US Navy will upgrade their newcomer to the next level. What should our adversaries know about the Gerald R. Ford? One of the many missions of the ship is deterrence. So when the adversaries have an aircraft carrier like this patrol their waters, they know that the United States is serious. But there are some points about the U.S. naval aircraft carriers that help them safeguard from attacks. A possible attack towards a mammoth carrier will only arrive from miles away, since these vessels are probably alone in the vast stretching sea. Moreover, the speed of today's carriers is about 35 miles per hour, so even if the missile spots the target and is fired, it will miss the target before it reaches it. Nimitz-class carriers deserve a special mention here. Nowadays, nuclear propulsion is being used to give power to these gigantic vessels. Here we cannot stop mentioning both Nimitz-class and Ford-class carriers of the US Navy. The force they can exert through nuclear power is far better as compared to fuel type. No matter if fuel tankers are intercepted in any way. Nuclear propulsion does not get affected much. Hence, every vessel being made today is switching to nuclear power. There would be a dozen of F-A-18 and F-35 fighters on the air wing of the US naval carrier. Some radar planes will also be there to detect threats approaching from hundreds of miles away. These aircrafts can jam the enemy radar systems and communication systems. 
These are called growler aircraft. This prevents the cause rather than waiting for them to act. Unity is always power. Whenever a carrier is needed in the Western Pacific or in the Northern Sea, the US Navy moves like an escort. Advanced air and missile defenses and nuclear-powered attackers will be all set throughout the voyage. In the legacy of radar systems, today's radar systems will have the top position with a hundred times more capability. The US and Russia are well-known rivals, not just on the political front but also in defense. Russians are well known for their underwater skills. So, the United States Navy has well-equipped submarines to keep an eye on the vessel's safety under the sea. The following strategy is pretty wise. Suppose you're running through a track, you will run as fast as you can to reach your destination. But what if there are some hurdles along your way? Of course, you'll need more time to reach and overcome each of these hurdles. Likewise, a carrier ship will give out layers of defense against the enemy so that the enemy missiles will get defeated by any of these layers of defense. The aircraft carriers have updated appreciably more than the World War II times. The largest aircraft carrier in the world would have never been destroyed if it had been built in today's scientific world. Now coming to some other advancements of naval vessels, they are working on hypervelocity projectiles launched from electromagnetic power guns. This helps in point defense. Moreover, many such projectiles can be kept in the vessel, but not many missiles. Not just attacking or defending, taking suitable precautions are also relevant for the Navy. And when it comes to these vessels, these are drones controlled by the control stations present inside the ship. These drones fly high enough to detect any approaching threats coming through air or sea. There have been previous instances when rivals have attacked these drones, so it's about luck too. See, it is evident that aircraft carriers are old things. The US Navy is trying its best to develop these huge vessels to make the defense force more capable and daring. If its economy and advantages do not go hand in hand, they will soon find an alternative. What could be that alternative? Will these aircraft carriers become museum pieces in the coming years? That's all for today. Any ideas lighting up in your minds are welcome with open hands. Do share them in the comment box below. We hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hit that like button, press the bell icon too for updates. Still not a subscriber? Do subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. More videos are on the way. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.